So for our last uh, video of, of the waves and curves, we're going to do the tan curve. And as you saw from the previous video, it's called a curve because it's not a wave. It is a different beast altogether. And what is really important to recognize is that the tan curve is actually the ratio of the sine, sorry, the sine ratio over the cosine ratio. So at some point, your denominator will be equal to zero, and that's where you'll have your asymptotes. So it will have asymptotes, and those asymptotes are really um, the driving force behind a lot of the behavior, or the defining force. I shouldn't say the driving force. So I'm just going to draw, draw my asymptotes. And the asymptotes occur exactly where tangent theta is undefined. I'm just going to draw my asymptotes, and I'm going to ask myself, now that I have the unit circle in front of me, you can ask yourself, where is tan undefined? And really, tangent, the best way to describe it is um, pi over 2 plus k pi. So every pi away. Now, my zeros, well, I'm going to draw the tan curve. So, and all you have to do is draw one tan curve. So there's one tan curve. And this notion of a period or periodicity, I'm going to make up that word if it isn't a word, is the graph repeats itself within every period. And here for the tan curve, the graph repeats itself every Pi. Now, if you probably notice, I've just graphed out this curve like so. And by the way, I better erase these because these are nonsensical now. But at pi over 4, we have a tangent value of 1. And as you approach pi over 2, the tangent value gets extraordinarily high and goes towards infinity. So the domain for the tangent curve is, I will write this. I'm just going to write the domain and range. And the asymptote or asymptotes. So the location of the asymptotes are probably really well described as pi over 2 plus k pi. So pi over 2 plus every multiple of k pi, where k is element of the uh, integers. Your domain is going to be x exists such that x is element of the reals. However, um, x, now it's going to get a little bit complicated. Well, x can be anything except x cannot be where your asymptotes are. But your range... Range can be anything. So there. This might explain, looking at these graphs, these three graphs really explain some of the background